Welcome back for the third episode on how to create a Fall Guys kind of game in Unreal Engine 5. So last time, we actually created our animation blueprint with our blueprints for the character. And today we will see how to use the root motion in Unreal Engine. So first of all, to use the root motion, we have an animation called Sprinting Forward Roll is the animation that we will use for the roll. And we can see that this animation, if I go to the skeleton tree, we can see that the root is actually moving in the same time as the character is doing the animation. So that's a, a root animation. And we can see that the first frame is on the typo, so we need to fix this. So first we'll go to Asset Detail, we'll go in animation length, we'll put set range and we will put 1 to 34, 35. So we are sure we don't miss the frame. We'll re-import and now we have a good animation. So first of all, we will use this animation. I will show you how to use this animation and we will see that there is an issue. There will be an issue with our capsule. The character will be moving with the animation, but not uh, the blueprint and not the um, entire mesh. So we will do that and I will show you how the collision works and then we will use the root motion. So we will go in our animation folder, we will right click on the sprinting forward roll, we will go into create and we will create an anim montage. Then we will put am underscore rolling that will be our animation montage for the rolling. We can see that in our animation montage, it's a very simple animation montage. We just have our animation. We will save, then close this. And we can now uh, create an input because we need a new input action for the roll. So we'll put a roll and we will go in our input mapping context and here we will add a new mapping we choose the role and we will add a control binding we already have one by default so we just select the key and we choose E we will save and close this and now we can use it in our blueprint player character we will open this and we will go down there and we right click IA and we choose the role in the events. Up, we'll open this. I will need to use the started. So we right click and put anime montage. And we can see we will have to choose this one, the play montage. So we choose this, we will put this in started and we will attach our mesh to the skeletal mesh component. Then in the montage to play, we will choose the AM roll and we don't need to change anything else. So we'll see. Now I have my character. If I press E, I forgot something. Yes. Yes. I forgot. To be able to play a montage on our character, which has an animation blueprint, we actually, need, we actually need to change something in the animation blueprint. So here is our simple animation blueprint. We have the locomotion attached to the output pose, and we just need to put something in between, which is called default slot. So it's the slot default slot. So now we can actually use the slot default slot to play our animation, uh, our animation montage. We compile and save. And now, if I go back to the game and I press E, we can see that my character is doing the animation. But we have some issue. We can see that it's going, but my camera is not moving and actually my collision is not moving. I will show you do a show collision. We can see in here, in the uh, kind of reddish uh, collision stuff, we can see that when I press E, it's not moving with the character. 
So that's actually an issue. We can even go there. Do this. And the character is not falling. Because we don't use the root animation. So we'll go back to our sprinting forward roll or animation. And in the asset detail, we just have to check this. Into root motion, we will check the enable root motion. So we'll check this and save. And now we can see that our character, the root, is not moving anymore. But the data of the root motion, it's still there. And it will make our character move his own root. If I go back and now I press E, we can see that my character is moving. And if I show the collision, you will see that my collision is actually moving with my character. And if I go to the edge and I press E, I actually fall. So we'll close that. We'll go back to here. Now we will just increase display rate. I would like to have two to have it a little bit faster. And we will need uh, to have we will need to have a variable to know when we are rolling or not. We will use it later, but I prefer to do it now. So we don't forget that we actually have a variable even if we don't use it. We have a variable that say if we are rolling or not. So we don't spam because we can actually spam. I will show you. If I go there, I can spam like this. I can spam and have something very weird and we don't want to do that. We want to be rolling only we stop the first roll. So we will create a new variable. So we'll go in the variable. We'll call this is rolling. It's a type boolean. I will already put a category so that we can have them clean. We have our component and we have our boolean and we will set this as true. We will set this as true when we start the montage and then when we complete the montage and even when we get interrupted, because sometimes we get interrupted, we will put it at false. And we just add a branch in here to be sure that up, we are not rolling. I put is rolling, we'll put a not boolean. This little bit behind. Get that. We put a not boolean. So if we are not rolling, we can do the animation roll. Then the is rolling will be true. And when it's either completed or interrupted, we will put it at false. Then we can start rolling again. So we will try. So now I cannot spam anymore. We have to wait until it's done. And I will check. I do not get interrupted when I run, so it's perfect. That was a small video. The root motion is very simple when the animation is already with the root uh, moving. It's very simple to add it in Unreal Engine. I hope you liked this video. I will show you on the next one to do some blend motion. We will do a climbing animation. So we'll have the climbing animation and we'll put the logic to make the character climb something with the blend motion. I will show you how it works. If you want to have a video about how to convert from uh, Mixamo animation to Unreal Engine. Don't forget to put me in the comment if you want to see that. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss the next video and put a like if you like this video, if, if you got some information about the root motion and I will see you on the next one. Bye.